What's up guys and welcome back to Gabe Miller Music. In the spirit of Halloween, I figured I would go for an instrument that's become somewhat associated with somewhat spooky movies and situations, the music box. So this right here is a music box that you program yourself. And it doesn't look like much, but it actually sounds pretty cool. And so today I just want to demo it a little bit, maybe use it to make some beats and go from there. So in a second here, I'll probably go ahead and try to punch in maybe an existing melody from one of my own songs. But before I actually play the song, I do want to quickly mention how I actually went about this because it seemed like it was going to be pretty difficult, but it actually ended up being fairly straightforward. First of all, I actually programmed in the melody into my piano roll in Reaper so I could follow along with exactly what that was and have audio feedback. So then I actually marked in pencil the notes I wanted to punch in and I've punched in a bunch here already. And then I can actually go in and line them up with this little hole here. And once I've lined it up, punch through it and just keep going until I've gotten through the entire melody. So here's the actual song. It's the main riff from my synthwave song, Concrete, Steel, and Neon. All right, here we go. One other thing I wanted to do, it comes with something that if you were doing this by hand would take quite a bit of effort. This plays Happy Birthday, but I'm gonna feed it in backwards because it ended up kind of supplying us with some cool chords and whatnot. So I'm just gonna run the entire thing through and harvest it for chords and other cool parts. But from here, what I want to go ahead and do is take the elements that I've recorded and try to flip them into some kind of electronic or hip hop instrumental. All right, so I've loaded the entire recording into here. So I'm just going to start looking around for actual music box parts here. I love that little chord riff. Keep that. So, I need some crossfading going on here. Quite a bit of crossfading. I'm gonna try to keep the sounding as natural as possible. We'll see how achievable that actually is. Just need some reverb in a much bigger room. Try something a little bit different. What if I double this and pitch it down? Would that sound cool? It's a little messy, but... It does sound dope, so I need a little turn around for that second repeat. There we go. That works for me. So what I'm going to do now is a bit of an experiment. I'm gonna render this out as is. I'm going to duplicate this track and this one right here is going to get reversed. So. That's the reverse bit. It sounds kind of cool on its own, but what I'm after is putting a ton of reverb on this. I'll let that ring out for a while. Render that out, and then I will bring that back in and reverse it. So the effect is the reverb will be reversed, the take will not.
And then if I wanted to take this one step further, I could actually bring this in at the very end as well so that it'll loop seamlessly. Like that, except this is not actually set to loop. So let me play the music box by itself. That sounds so cool. And then with drums. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see another music experiment, you can click or tap up over here. I've made some stuff with weird instruments or weird techniques in the past, and I think those are well worth a watch. I'll be back with a new video in a little bit. So in the meantime, thank you so much for watching.